Hey, it's Cade with Coltrane Central Vacuum Systems, and I'm gonna show you how to replace the filter on your beam central vacuum unit. So the beam has a permanent filter, um, which can be replaced. So when you take your bucket off, you'll see it hanging down, and this filter is designed to kind of self-clean. When the vacuum turns on, the filter will stand up, and when the vacuum turns off, it'll fall back down. And there is a bean bag, uh, kind of a weight sewn in here. That is not dirt from uh, being vacuumed up. That's intentional to help with the bag to uh, clean itself. But over time, you're gonna need to replace it. Probably every five to 10 years would be good. So to do that, it's a little tricky. So I'm gonna give you a couple of really important pointer, uh, pointers. Um, on the unit itself, you'll see there's a bevel, uh, bevel right here in the metal, about six inches up from the bottom of the canister. Uh, that is where the filter is snapped into place. Um, that prevents the filter from being pulled down. So to get the filter out, what you're going to do is put your hand on the inside and reach towards the back of the filter right at this bevel. And if you do that, you'll feel a little loop, a little tab sewn into the filter. Take that tab in your finger and pull it in towards the center of the, of the canister. Not down, but in. And you're going to have to pull fairly hard, and once you get that pulled in, you will break the seal to be able to pull the filter out. So here's that tab, and I took it and I pulled it in, and when I did that, I compressed this metal ring in the filter and made kind of an oval with it. By doing that, I can remove the old filter. Putting the new filter in is going to be the exact same in reverse. So you're going to take this new filter and you're going to squeeze it a little bit, keeping that tab so it's on the outside. The filter should say this side out. Don't put it in upside down, otherwise you're going to lose your tab up inside and you won't be able to get the, the filter out ever. So make sure you got it the right way, compress it, get your uh, metal ring lined right up in this bevel and start from the back and slowly let it expand into place. And you'll know you'll have it in place when you hear it snap. If you don't hear it snap, you're probably not secured. And then once you have it, make sure that you give it a nice tug so you can feel it. And then I will always just double check with my hand. So we're gonna come in here closer with the filter, uh, with the camera and let you see uh, what it looks like on the inside if possible. So I'm holding it up here, but this filter is snapped right in this bevel, nice and tight all the way around. And that's how you do it.